Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Joey. Today I'm going to show you a quick edit on how I go ahead and do my portrait edits in the snow. Um, and I guess that's really it. I don't really know how else to describe this. Um, I didn't take this photo. This is a photo of me uh, by my friend Jet. I will link his Instagram in the description section. And I'm just going to go ahead and move fast. So I'm going to show you the before and after. So this is the before on the left here. And this is the after. Obviously the after looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and make a virtual copy. I already did. Um, so let's go ahead and move the exposure up. Uh, I'd say about right there. Um, actually, let me reference. I like, I like to reference my initial edit. Um, I think it looks a lot better where it's at now. I'm going to go ahead and add some contrast. Contrast is always great. 33 I did 24 I usually like to keep my contrast within the um, realms of about 20 I think it works pretty well um, and let's see negative 31 31 17 negative 17 okay so here's what I did I turned down the highlights I'll show you kind of show you why actually I'm going to turn them up I don't know why I turned them down that's kind of a dumb thing on my part okay let's go ahead and turn the shadows up a little bit I like that looks pretty good turn down just a tiny tiny bit 17 17 oh wait was it okay 31 31 17 17 okay and add just a little bit more contrast with turning down the blacks that looks really great I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the clarity boom just negative five looks good to me I don't like to turn it down too much because that painting and uh, that looks awful. So um, mm, let's actually add some. I actually want to add five because I thought it looked pretty good in the snow. Uh, I'm going to desaturate it by negative five. Boom. That's it for basic tab. I always keep auto white balance on because it's the snow and the snow is white. So yeah. <laughs> I think I might have to go back and uh, turn down the exposure actually after I turn on the camera or the lens correction. So let me do that first. Boom. There you go. Remove chromatic aberration. Check those two all times if you if you want. I mean, you don't have to have enable profile corrections, but always keep remove chromatic aberration. So boom, that's done and over with. I actually like where it's at. Tone curve is next. So we just did basic lens corrections and now we're on tone curve so let's get started all right i'm going to reference the initial photo so as you can see a lot of the tone curves are kind of like an s shape that i do and a lot of this is really popular among instagram and other users as well so let's kind of copy this i always go up a little bit up a little bit down a little bit boom make another point there boom See, let's find that sweet spot because if you go too high it looks weird if you go too low it looks really awful find that sweet spot right there that looks solid I think I pretty much just nailed it though too no not quite it was a little higher but that's fine that looks good too I think it's it works better actually all right, let's see. Did I change anything in the red, greens, and blues? I did, I changed the blues. So this is where you're getting fancy now. So this is important too. So notice how I went and just adjusted it slightly. I kept the middle point basically on this dotted line. The dotted line is, uh, how do I explain it? Basically your initial curve. And then, you know, that's like the th uh, initial threshold there. Um, I went ahead and adjusted this up slightly, adjusted this down slightly, kept it one in the middle, the same. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So, boom, go up a little bit. Actually, you know what, let's make our points first, sorry about that. Boom, boom, boom. Go up a little bit, stay in the middle, go down a little bit. So, I don't know if you guys saw that, but... Boom, now, you, now you're seeing it. Now you see the what the tone curve does. It kind of provided more of a contrasty look in it around here. It kind of provided that dreamy quality, I guess. I mean, it's not a huge difference, but it's still it's still a difference. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more there. Um, and go down just, just 
spinach there. Boom. Okay. Yes, that looks pretty solid. I like it. All right, tone curve is done. So now let's go to to hue saturation luminance. I changed the magentas all the way up for some reason on the hue. Okay, saturation turn took out all the purples, desaturated the reds, and took out some blue. Okay, and I'll explain why. So blue is a really prevalent color in the snow, as you can see. I don't really like that a whole whole lot. I think it look you know you want to go for that as mu as white as possible look. Um, so that's kind of why I did that. And then purple it obviously looks really awful in the flannel there and in the trees in the back here. So I'll turn that back up just to show you guys. See, boom. So take that out completely. Turn down the magentas just a little tiny bit, and then desaturate the reds just a tiny tiny bit just to get that kind of like gritty look. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and. Oh yes. Okay. So the reason why I turned up the magentas is because my sweatshirt here. Um, that's not the original color it was when I took when the picture was taken I don't know if it's the issue with Nikon or whatever so you can see it like the, here it is out of camera it's just real slight but it makes a difference so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that all the way up alright so everything looks pretty stat up to this point I'm gonna go ahead and reference oh whoops sorry about that I'm gonna go ahead and reference the last photo for the luminance tab Looks like it didn't do anything. Looks good to me. Okay. Boom. HSL tab done. Split toning. I, th I believe I... Nope. Didn't add anything. Huh. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually add some though. I'm going to see what this looks like with some blue. I like it. I like that because it kind of reminds me of a little iciness. Yes, I did desaturate the blues, but this is kind of more like an overall kind of veil over the entire photo rather than, than just one specific area. So I'm going to go ahead and add about five. I like that. Uh, highlights, no-no. That's a big no for me. Um, I don't know. That's up to you. You can experiment with that. So now let, I'm going to uh, sharpen it just a bit. So boom, 73, 18, 18. You gotta, since I, since I um, turned up the brightness, or the exposure, sorry, but since I turned up the exposure, it's really, really uh, important to compensate for that by doing masking and noise reduction because when you underexpose a photo, um, it has all that information, um, you know, taken in the camera. But if it's underexposed and then you gotta ex overexpose it later, then you're you you're basically pushing that uh, the information to the limit. So then it's gonna start, you know, turning all noisy and grainy and everything. So. I'm really surprised that this didn't turn out super grainy, but it was shot at 50 ISO, power of Nikon, you know, power to you Nikon, I'm a Canon user, so. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's it for the sharpening detail tab. Um, lens corrections, I already went over that. Enable profile corrections and remove chromatic aberration. I'll show you what it looked like before. Just heavy vignetting, didn't like it. Boom, there you go. All right, effects, no effects here. I didn't want any vignetting in it. That's it, no grain or anything. Camera calibration. I did not do anything to the other photo except I did a little bit. <laughs> I'm a liar. All right, so five, negative five. So I did this. It's really subtle. It's not going to make a difference in my opinion. So I'm not going to really do it. I think that looks better than my initial edit, to be honest with you. I think it looks cleaner. It looks more of like, like that Instagram y kind of um, rustic in a way. So I think that's really solid. I think I'm going to stick with that. So that's really it. You go from, oops, sorry. You go from this, here, I'll show you the original. So you go from this on the left here to essentially this, but I'll show you the real edit. Boom. So you guys just saw me do that right now. That's it. All right, so that really concludes this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and learned something there. Um, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you learned anything, if uh, you know this helped at all whatsoever. If you guys have anybody that you know could benefit from watching these videos, please link them to me. Um, I will answer any questions, any suggestions. I'd love to hear them, anything like that. So please just let me know. Uh, comment down, and I will reply. Re ugh, I will reply to you guys. So thanks for watching, guys. See ya.